Hi, this is Tommy Shadow with a bit of an odd pick for the channel. Um, I'm going to be playing this game. It is the Wonka Laffy Taffy 3D Pyramid game. This is a web game, I should say, uh, and it is basically the closest thing to a horror game for children. I'm playing this game because a YouTube commenter told me that I should play a horror game. I don't play horror games because I get scared too easily and get creeped out and then these games totally make me jump and I don't like that. So this is the closest thing that I'm going to ever play to a horror game and I'm probably never going to play anything like a horror game again. Uh, we are going to go with the boy character here, John. So this is a maze game. Uh, so yeah, on this level you'll need to find these keys in this maze, click anywhere to enter the maze, um, and I guess I'll explain it as I go along. Uh, enter the maze, okay. So, uh, the goal of the game, as you will soon see, is to find these, um, walls with jokes on them. So this one is, what do cheerleaders like to drink with their lunch? Hmm, I don't know. What, what, what do cheerleaders like to drink with their lunch? So, you run around in this maze, and you find these walls, and then you press the space bar to see the answer. <laughs> Root beer! Ha! Yeah, none of the jokes are particularly funny. And there are monsters in the maze, and you try and avoid the monsters. The monsters are the wicked wangdoodles, which are something... It's... What's interesting is I actually remember those are in the um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory book, but here they're like the scary monsters you're trying to avoid, and I'm sure we'll run into one at some point. Um, okay, now the joke is, what do pixies and elves do after school? <laughs> Gnome work! Ha! I just unlocked a secret code jumping sequence. Ooh. So sour apple, strawberry, banana, and cherry. As the rows of blocks move, uh, use the secret jumping code sequence to jump onto the correct Laffy Taffy flavored blocks. Press the S key to close the secret code jumping sequence. That will surely come in handy later. So, you can hear them walking around because there's sound cues. And if you hear the maniacal laughing, that is happening off in the distance. Those are also sound cues, because these walls make laughing noises. So you basically run through this maze, and all you hear is monsters and laughing noises. And uh, you try and find all the jokes. And most of the jokes just fuel your flashlight, because your flashlight runs out of energy uh, slowly, but I've it'll never hit zero, because it's so slow. Uh, what kind of music does a rabbit listen to? <laughs> Hip hop. Ah, so funny. So we just got a piece of the map. So at any time you can press M to view the map. Uh, and yeah, you slowly unravel bits of the map as you discover it so we can see where we've already been, but not where we haven't been. And uh, you can get these map pieces that just unlock entire portions, like the bottom left here. Um, so we have to find all these different colored walls. Some of them just refuel your flashlight. There's technically only a few you have to actually go to, I think, but uh, it's I think it's impossible to know which ones are which, so just wander around in this maze, trying to avoid the monsters. They sound quiet right now, so there's probably none nearby. Why do you never play at hide and seek with a Dalmatian? <laughs> because they are always spotted. Who could have spotted that joke coming? Uh, but yeah, so this was a web game on the Wonka.com website, and it's basically an ad for- Whoa, okay. And you just saw me jump there, and that is what we're trying to avoid. Those monsters. They just wander around in the maze. We're back where we started. Oh, but we missed this the first time we were here. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Oh, there's one right at the start. I should probably get the ones. There's one right behind me. So this is the map piece for the top left, which is useful because that's where we are. Let's turn around. Uh, but 
Yeah, what do campers, why do campers walk quietly at night so they don't wake their sleeping bags? Um, yeah, so these are all groaners. Um, you can see on the right- oh, no, 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 you don't. Um, you can see on the right that my- I have my flashlight power there. Oh no, this is not where I want to be. I want to be over here. Yes, this is the beginning of the maze. What did the banana say to the hippo? Nothing bananas can't talk. Type in the secret password and hit the enter key. If you do not know the password, just hit the enter key. So this is where you can skip to level 2 or 3 if you know the password to skip there. I do not have the password actually memorized, funny enough, so I cannot skip there even if I wanted to. Alright. Uh, where did I need to go? There was somewhere... There was another one near here. Okay, so to my right... And then just around the corner. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, this was on the Shockwave. This was on the Wonka.com website. It's a Shockwave 3D game uh, that we're playing here. How do trees get on the internet? They log on. Yeah, who could have seen that joke coming? I like the particle effects though. That's kind of cool how they like zoom into the camera. Uh, anywhere else near here I need to be? Um, and yeah, so as you can imagine. Um, this game is has some technical difficulties running on Windows 10, if you don't know what you're doing. And normally it plays at a much lower resolution than this, because uh, I'm actually using a custom script I wrote, and you might have seen this. When I play other Shockwave games in my videos, I use, I've used the script as well, specific, particularly for Bay Racer. For Bay Racer and for... Um... Sweet Tarts 3D was another game I played using the script. Um, okay, we got a third map piece. That portion of the map we don't reach until after the end of this little bit, so it's not immediately useful. Um, yeah. So from here, I have to go down around the corners. Um, it's it is. Um, it'll just, um, it'll just, uh, okay, what can you serve but not eat a tennis ball? Yeah. I mean, you could try. That was one of the keys we need, so there's five keys that you need. Um, right, this game will just crash if you try and run it on Windows 10 if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, because Shockwave 3D is not compatible with Windows 10 with NVIDIA graphics cards, which I have, I came up with the patch for because there's no official word from Adobe, as far as I know, a, a patch for that. So I have my unofficial fan-made patch, which works with all Shockwave games. Wait, wasn't it right here? Oh, one step further. Here we are. Grape. What do you do? Oh, what do you get? When you cross a monkey with a pie, <laughs> a meringue a tank. That has to be one of the worst ones, right? Uh, I know that all these jokes are taken from actual Laffy Taffy rappers. Also, um, Laffy Taffy Tropical Punch is not a flavor of Laffy Taffy that you can get anymore. It is no longer available. That is a fun fact for you guys that is Laffy Taffy related. If April showers bring May flowers, then what do May flowers bring? Pilgrims. Rape. Oh, wait, I was here before, wasn't I? Oh yeah, you can jump. It's totally useless, though. Oh, there is one on the other opposite wall of this one. I'm right near the start again, though, so that's, uh, that's a bummer. Here is the, oh no, fruit punch. Tro not tropical punch. Close enough. Fruit punch. You can't get this flavor anymore. Uh, what fruit is always complaining? <laughs> Crab apple. All the other flavors you can still get, though. Um, as far as, at least as far as I'm aware, at least as far as I was last updated on it, like, I don't constantly keep track of which Laffy Taffy flavors are available. When does a detective carry an umbrella? When he's undercover. Although they ditched the Wonka brand. It's really too bad, because it was such a good... Uh, you know, I love the idea that there was this tie-in, like, it tied in with this fictional universe. There was, like, an actual candy behind it. 
you can actually fall off here, which is why I'm being a bit more careful, because there's no fence or anything. Where do astronauts leave their spacecraft <laughs> at parking meteors? Puns galore. Actually, that one wasn't a pun, was it? Close enough. What did the tie say to the hat? <laughs> You'll go on ahead and I'll just hang around. That one isn't in every joke book ever. Um, maybe it's just me that, um, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of groaning at these jokes. Because as a kid, I would have said all these jokes, um, ad infinitive. Like, like, ad infinitive. Like, forever, I would have repeated these. I'm sure I did repeat some of these, because I played this game. But I never finished it because I was too scared of it because I was a wimp. What kind of birds always stick together? <laughs> Velcros. I have actually completed this game before though um, because I've gone back and played it. Though this is my first time playing it with the full HD experience. Thanks to my wicked lingo skills. Uh, Go script writing, shockwave publishing, director <laughs> skills. All right. Uh. Okay, this area is a bit awkward. Oh wait, we have a map for this. Oh no, but not for this specific section. I did miss one though. I can see on the very back end of the. Wait. Still behind me. There's one over here. Yes, here we are. Fruit punch. How did the telephone propose to his girlfriend? <laughs> he gave her a ring. Oh, good. That is another one of the keys we need. We exhausted the strawberry key already on... that we opened before. Okay. And I just jumped again. Like, you know, it's a very simple, like, it's a very stupid, simple model. But for what it is, it's a very effective jump scare. Because you cannot see them coming around the corner. They, I'm, I'm certain, on which side of the mug should you put the handle? The outside. Left Brain Games, who created this game, it was created by Left Brain Games, is the name of the developer of this game. And I am 100% certain, okay, I'm not 100% certain, but, uh, you know, it sure feels like they, um, uh, what is a sea monster's favorite snack? Shifts are fascinating. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly, you know, sure that a good amount of time was spent getting this camera view right so that you can't see things around corners. What kind of bow can't be tied? <laughs> a rainbow. That's more of a riddle than a joke. Okay. So, um, we just have that little... Ah, oh, I missed one over there. Okay, when you, well, now we have the entire map, and as you can see, that last little top right section is after a whole bunch of... Well, I guess you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to go back over there to get that one. But let's just get these few first. I do not remember. I don't know if it's randomized or not. Um, if it isn't, I definitely do not know which boards give you which keys. What did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? <laughs> Not much, it just let out a little wine. That was a joke that I told my parents over and over, because I thought it was so hilarious. Where do cows go to have fun? <laughs> the movies. The movies. Oh, can't. Oh, I can go here. go there yet. Hold on. I realize that is the way to progress, but I need to get all these billboards. <laughs> Did 
hear about the robbery in the laundromat. Two husbands held up a shirt. Hilarious. Okay, this last one I need to get all the way over here. Way on the opposite side of this little section. Did a decent job of um, making this a difficult to navigate maze at least. I know what awaits you at the end of the game, and trust me, it is worth it. What kind of fish has two knees? A two knee fish. Like a tuna fish? Get it? I love how the particles, they kind of just come out towards the screen and just like. They just like. Um. What's the proper word I'm looking for? Like, they just kind of flood you in the face, so you can't see anything past them. Like, they get so ridiculously stretched that you cannot see beyond them because there's just so many in your, in your face. Okay, this is why we need the keys, because you cannot pass the section without them. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> I find it interesting how, with the HD upscaling, it's very obvious that they used bitmap images. Okay, um, bitmap images for the still shots of the character, which is interesting because it's so obvious because the shading is different and everything. And it, you'd think they would just pause the game, but I guess they couldn't do that. Um, the block room. You will need to jump across the moving blocks in the correct flavor sequence. Press the spacebar to jump forward and time your jumps carefully. Hopefully you found the secret code jumping sequence in the maze. If not, you might want to go back and look for it. Also try to guess which blocks to jump on, but guessing wrong and jumping onto the wrong block costs you energy and forces you to start from the beginning. Now, thankfully, we did find that at the very beginning of the game, and we can press S to bring it up again. It is sour apple, strawberry, banana, cherry. So, basically, green, pink, yellow, red. And we press S again to close it. So, green, pink, strawberry, yellow, banana, and red. I'm not going to take that risk. I'm going to wait for it time now. I really do not think the monsters can get us here. The rope chamber. The only way across this giant chamber is to jump from swinging rope to swinging rope, but time your jumps carefully to happen when the next rope is as close as possible, otherwise you'll fall and lose energy and have to start at the first rope again. Click anywhere to enter. Okay. So, uh, this game here is a little bit, um, picky with your timing, as far as I remember. It is very weird how the vines, or ropes, I guess, are textured, um, with the different colors, but they're actually just the texture that's very small. And continue. Back to the maze. You will still need to find the act the final cherry key, the actual cherry key, I don't know, that will activate the cherry staircase to complete level one. Okay. Now I do have the map now, so that's at least useful. And I can see that the one red thing I need is all the way down there. So that's pretty much the last thing I need. So let's just head there. So basically, just go left until you hit this wall, and then just keep going around corners. We'll end up there, I don't know. We'll wing it. Did I, am I close? Yeah, I'm pretty close. Alright, I think this is all I need. There's the cherry key, alright. So now you just head for the exit, which is clearly marked 
exit uh, here on the map. Although it is pretty small and it might be easy to miss because it's pretty compressed and that makes it more difficult to read. But yeah, um, just up and to the left, pretty much. I don't run into any of the monsters. They sound pretty quiet. I don't think there's any nearby. It's interesting that they decided to make the monsters sound cute so loud. Oh, I'm, I'm heading, I'm heading away from where I need to be. Uh, where am I supposed to be? Oh, down and then up. Okay. I'm relying way too much on that map, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is the end of level one. On to level two.